Just the, how, what are you looking to do to build off of your last season? Um, you know, just try to be a better teammate. Um, last year, I had a lot of success. Um, but this year, I'm just looking to, you know, just be a better teammate and, you know, really play for my team for real. So at the end of the day, um, i just been, you know, working hard, grinding. I'm um, just being with my teammates. That's all I really care about right now. Uh, going back to the injury you suffered back in your senior high school, what, how would you describe this journey for you to get back to being healthy? Um, it's been a crazy journey for me because, like I said um, before, like I tell everybody, um, when I got hurt, that was a stressful time for me. Um, I faced a lot of adversity. You know, I had to find out, um, you know, who I was without the ball in my hand. So um, I feel like I've overcome a lot of things. And um, always told myself after my injury um, that um, when I come back, I'm going to come back better than another and be the, be a better person, be a better man on and off the field. And I feel like that's who I am today. And um, I know I got a lot of improvement to do on and off the field. And um, that's just a good thing about life. You know, you each day, you know, you get to come out here, be where your feet are, and, you know, attack every day. Like it's your last. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. What do you do to keep your speed up? Any special exercises? Um, nah, man. I just uh, just work out with the team. Um, you know, I, I do a little extra stuff, a little extra running, um, work out in the sand. You know, just to keep my speed up, making making sure that I'm still explosive. But um, just 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 working hard with my team, man. Just just being just being coachable. Did you know that ESPN had you rated as the second fastest run in all of organized football last year against Ohio State? Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, you had like 22 miles an hour or something. I did not. I didn't. I didn't know that at all. But that's, that's impressive. Yeah, dude. <laughs> did you get a ticket in the mail because they have the speed cameras? Right. <laughs> nah, man. But uh, like I said, man, just uh, just basically trying to get ready for this season, man, and just take care of everything I need to take care of with my teammates. How do you fit in the new offense? What do you think of it? Um, I feel like the offense is good. It's very explosive. I feel like Coach Locks, um, his offense is, you know, I'm going to get, you know, the playmakers, you know, the ball, put, put them in space. Um, you know, not just me. Um, we got a lot of guys, you know, I can name that, you know, is going to get the ball in space and really show um, what we can do. So um, I feel like Locks' offense is good, and I feel like he showed that at Bama, man, to show how explosive the offense can be. Uh, how does it feel to be working with your former DeMatha coach, um, Coach Brook? Um, it's a good feeling. He was my, um, you know, high school head coach. Um, you know, he uh, taught me a lot of things at, at the running back position So in high school. So it's a good feeling, you know, he's able to come back. And um, I'm more mature now. I'm a better football player. And, um, you know, just learning from him, you know, just learning everything from him. He's a good coach. I trust him. I buy into everything he says. And um, it's been like that since high school. Do you think you guys have the best room in all the team? He's running back's room. Running back's room, the place to be still. Um, I, I feel like if we're trying to make it um, RBU again, um, I wouldn't say we, we are the best position group on the team, but um, I feel like we, um, you know, we, we got a, we got a lot to prove this year in the running back room, and um, we got to step up and be leaders. Maryland's made a lot of noise this off season in the Big Ten. Maryland's name has been popping up a lot. What is it like going into the season with a little bit more expectations than you've had in the past? Um, it's big expectations. I know everybody. I know everybody's counting us out. Um, you know, still, still. I, I seen you know people saying we're probably gonna win like three or four games, but um, we can't. Our, our team and our coach, like Coach Locks, we can't pay attention to stuff like that. All we gotta do is come, come to work every day, and um, it, it's about us. It's about the team. So all we gotta do is come to work every day, and like I'm always say, be where our feet are, not thinking about you know what we're gonna do a month later or you know where we're trying to get to. Just every day, we just come to work.